home, give them your name, what band you're in and where you came from. Hey guys, I'm uh, Fish, I'm in a band called Headbore, uh, we're an Adelaide five piece band, been going for bloody hell about 14 years now. Um, yeah, just recording our third album in the studio at the moment, and yeah, it's sick to be up here in Silverton playing this show with all these amazing bands. Hell yeah, man. Yeah, Hell yeah. yeah. It's Thank been you for a fucking time, time hasn't it? Shit, I mean, it's been two, been two big nights already, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Fri Friday night with people having to go to hospital from too much partying and breaking their arm yeah, and buddy, all that. Uh, and a girl then... called M, but he's popped their shoulder or broke a collarbone or something. Oh, trying to find yeah. to camp. So, oh, they hit a kangaroo on the way up too, so they had a bloody yeah. good start to their weekend. Uh, you got to take it easy on these roads. Yeah. I couldn't believe the amount of goats, goats that we saw. No, everywhere, right? It's eh? a goat apocalypse. Yeah, it's crazy. Well, like, yep, it's just goat country. <laughs> That's it. Australia needs to develop a taste for goat curry, I tell you. Yeah, that. 100%. Yeah. We really, we'll really, really do. Market there. We really do. So, but how, so how was your trip up? Great, man. We uh, had a stopover in Loxton. Mm -hmm. uh, played a show with uh, Boys in Hidden Intent. Lovely. And Lovely. Yeah, no, it was Those boys. sick, mate. Great crowd. Awesome set up there. So, yeah, we was, uh, exceeded our expectations. So that so was always good when you organise a trip where you can sort of get one in on the way oh, up. Oh, 100%. Just, just yeah, it just bit. makes it that little bit more yeah. worthwhile. So, yeah, thank the Hidden Intent boys for getting us on that one. And I uh, skillfully fell off the stage in the second song, so I'm uh, hurting a little bit from that. How would you manage that? How high was it? Oh, probably about so, say, oh, you know, bro. Half, a, half a body. But, um, yeah, oh, the... Uh, what do you call it? Fold Fallback back. lights were bright as hell, and I thought the stage went past the PA. Uh, it didn't. So I just took a step and just bang, just landed in my ribs on bloody mic stands and all kinds oh. of shit. But I think I kept doing the vocals all the way through, but... Um, <laughs> That's, That's a trooper. Yeah, That's I'm, a trooper. I'm, in, I'm a little bit of the bumps on the road from bloody Broken Hill to here. Oh, Not fun. No, not when you're nursing some injured ribs. No, exactly. But no, we're here and um, yeah, it's pumped up to play, play, play tonight. And uh, yeah, a lot of good bands on today, so it should be another cracker. Yeah, it's going to be a fucking bad day. Absolutely. Are you managing to keep the dust out of your gear? Yes, we're, uh, <laughs> we were actually, after what we saw yesterday, with literally everything black turned into red, we're keeping everything in the vans and cars yeah. until just before we go on stage. And even the merch, we're not going to bring that out until just before or after we go on. So Smart we're move. keeping it dust free as much best we can. But uh, yeah, definitely not out of the throat and nostrils, that's for sure. Oh, mate. <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm drier than a... Yeah. Yeah, I'm dry. <laughs> yeah, I'm dry. 100%. I need my humidity back. Yes, yes. But, you know, plenty of beer will fix that. It'll keep us going throughout the yeah, day. Yes, so we should mate. be pretty sweet there. Absolutely. It'll be a good one. Who, who did you... Uh, so you were all around all day yesterday, were you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Who I didn't did get you, it from uh, the first band, but okay. I was probably here from about... Oh, most of us were here from about 2 with two o'clock yesterday. Awesome, so awesome. Catch who, was your, who was your highlights? Oh, I'm biased because I've been from Adelaide, but um, fuck, broken loose, hidden in tent. Those guys, I mean, um, yeah... Good shit, yeah. Wonderful. Right. And who are you? Who are you really looking forward to catching today? I want to see Armored Earth. Our good mate Dan uh, played a lot of shows Dan, with him every, when he was every in. Every uh, cunt knows Dan. Yeah, every yeah, yeah. Dan. Played he's a lot just... of shows with him uh, when he was in Frankenbach. So uh, <laughs> yeah, he's a bloody great lad, and um, yeah, I hadn't caught up with him for ages. So it was great to hang out with him last night, and really looking forward to seeing him in Armored Earth. Uh, again, all the SA bands. Um, I think it's about four of us in a row today with Broken Loose and those left behind and uh, Sundowner and us. So that'll be a nice little couple of hours with all of that. And then, uh, yeah, Firestorm straight after us. So that's going to be bloody awesome. Yeah, that'll they, be uh, They always spicy. put on a bloody good show. So. Closing out the weekend real strong. Spoiler. Real, real strong to close out that weekend. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm stoked what, to what see. What I love about this so far is, you know, bands that I may have heard of but never had the opportunity to see. Oh, Because I don't yeah. travel. Yeah, like, yeah. You know. Definitely. And, yeah, just... Finding some new music, mm. meeting some great people, oh, like-minded people. Absolutely. I mean, that's like, the great thing about a festival. You'll always see a band or two that you really haven't checked out before, and you'll always see some new stuff and stuff that excites you and interests you, so it's really always good, yeah. I think for me, what's been really special about this weekend is the amount of Adelaide bands <laughs> that I've just never... Because, you know, like, I grew up... I spent most of my time in Sydney, yep. moved up to Brisbane a few years back. Yep, you yep. know, Kyle's Sydney through and through, mm -hmm. like... So we know a lot of the East Coast. Yes, of course. Yeah, acts, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But yep. like, but you know, so many Adelaide bands, we just yeah, we just don't hear about you all, and uh, yeah, that's part yeah. of the reason that we've enjoyed doing the podcast. Yeah, as I mean, well, I is think... like it's got given us the ability to discover so many bands that we would otherwise not have been exposed to. Yeah, that's to. awesome. Yeah, and um, you know, I think even though like Brisbane being East Coast, it's not quite yep. as bad from Brisbane, but yep. like. A lot of the stuff from Brisbane, people don't pay attention yeah, to. Yeah, that's either. correct. Oh, 100%. Like yeah. The, the talent, you know, yes, there's talent all over the place yeah. for sure. But I think one of the things we talk about on the podcast all the time is that, you know, we're doing metal is 
you know, a niche genre mm. and doing it in Australia, you're doing a niche genre in a small population. So yep. your fan base is extremely limited. Absolutely. And while we don't do it for money or fame or any of that stuff, we do it, you know, we want to, if we are going to have success, we want it to be on our own terms, mm. not because we chased a trend or did something different. So people stick truer, I feel in a way to their artistic vision and what they want to do. Mm. They're going to play what they want to play. Yep because they want to have fun while they're doing it. Mm -hmm. And if they if they get success off the back of that, that's an added bonus. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I feel that's almost even truer in the slightly smaller markets like Brisbane, Perth, Darwin, Adelaide. Um, and that's not to slag on the Sydney or no, Melbourne no, no. bands or Canberra bands or anything yeah. like that. But like, it's just you get people doing such unique stuff mm -hmm. and doing it so, so well yeah. because... You know, if you're going to get be getting enough people out to the shows in those yeah. smaller towns, smaller cities yep. to make it worthwhile, you have to be good mm. and you have to be bringing it. Yep. And you know, the, the the talent that's on display across this weekend is just the ultimate, uh, I think, sign of what this country has to offer in terms of you know of, of metal. Yep. Um, and look, if anyone from overseas is, happens to be watching this, like. Go back and watch any of our videos, Metal to the Max videos. There's a playlist to all the bands that are playing this that are playing this weekend. You will find a new favorite band. Like I guarantee it. Yeah. There is just you know, and I mean, fuck. Even if you're not from, even if you're watching from Australia, and you're like, oh, I didn't know there were so many cool bands. I mean, go and check it out. Mm. It will blow your mind. Absolutely. Um, and you know, and you're right about um, seeing bands from other states and things like that. Because I mean, Adelaide, we're very very tight little metal family I would call it yeah um, we get we're quite exposed to a lot of the Victorian Melbourne bands because yeah. we're so close to Melbourne yeah. but as to say Sydney Brisbane probably don't have the finger on the pulse as much with bands from there and I guess the same for you guys with Adelaide yeah. and that. Yes. so yeah. the fact that you get to and I think look seriously I don't think we've personally this is the first uh, interstate show we play since COVID yeah oh, so okay. like we just we're stuck for two three years yeah we and us personally we had membership um, uh, lineup changes. Um, so yeah, this is the first time we've done rural or interstate shows since pre-COVID. I think a lot of bands probably suffered that as well. So yeah. there really was a long time where you just didn't see bands from interstate. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, and so just, I think yeah. events like this, it's great to bring everyone back together again and just say, you know, to see the bands from the other markets yeah. that you're not exposed to on a regular basis is yeah. bloody great. And I mean, you know, we've, we've been you know, talking talking to Ash and everything, and like we think it'd be really cool next year to make to make a point of getting one or two bands from every state. Oh, 100 percent. So yep. that you can really be representative of the whole country yeah. coming together out here. Definitely. Um, and just yep. it's going to be an amazing yeah. time. Like I think, if look honestly, if you were on the fence about coming this year and you decided not to, yeah, you missed. When next year comes around, yeah. get your tickets and make the trip because it is worth yep. it. Um, just um, be prepared for dust is all yes, I'm saying. Yes. Couldn't uh, couldn't recommend it highly enough. Um, we haven't even played yet, but I've had an absolute blast up here. We're all just having the best time, uh, hanging out with people we know from Adelaide and at bands from interstate, but also meeting new cool people here, new bands, new mates. Um, <clears throat> and the first year of this festival, things take time to grow. But I mean, shit, this is still a banger of a weekend. Don't get me wrong, but Great turnout. it's up to us to spread the word. Considering how far a lot of people have oh, come, yeah, it's it's not it's crazy it's not just out. oh yeah we might go. You no, you got to you got to you got to you got to drive. You got to book your accommodation for three four nights. You got to plan how you're getting here, bring all your food and all that sort of That's stuff. It. People coming from bloody Cairns, from Darwin, yeah, yeah you know, like they've people have literally crossed the country to be here. Hundred <laughs> um, percent. And for those who maybe don't quite understand just how big Australia is. Uh, Kyle lives west of Sydney, like so he's already like an I'm hour already in the west same of, state. an hour <laughs> west of Sydney city, and it still was like almost 1,200 kilometres from there to get here, and we're still in the same state. Yeah, if yeah, you want to, exactly, if yeah. you want to put that in miles, I think that comes out to about like seven or eight hundred miles, something like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, and we're still in the same state, yep. so uh, it's uh, a big trek across a big wide country. And the effort that everyone has put in to come and be here for this weekend, it makes, honestly, it makes my heart sink. Yeah, yeah. it really and like does. We, we've come from the opposite direction. We're Adelaide, South Australia. So we've only just literally to get to Silverton here, we just crossed the border of our state. And I think that was about 550, 600 kilometer trek yeah, from, from Adelaide there. These guys have come from the other direction. So we met in the middle there. And yeah, every, everyone's put in a bloody big effort to get here. And it's 
more than worthwhile. This is just it's so a beautiful cool. thing, and this is what heavy metal does. It brings people together. It connects people. I know we got a bad rap amongst certain communities, but you know, just open your mind to it. Yeah. Open your mind to it. Open your heart to it. The people are some of the best people, the most real people you will ever meet. Yeah. Um, and like we said when we were recording our intro for today, like. No one's come out here to half-ass it because nah. it's not possible to make this kind of drive. If you were going to half-ass it, you wouldn't be making the drive. Nah. That's yeah, nah. so right. Stay at home. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's well, it. Though. Thank you so much, mate. My absolute pleasure. Awesome Thanks to meet you. Me Cannot wait to see your set. Thank you. Enjoy, and enjoy we'll, uh, we'll get some oh, great footage for you. Awesome. Sounds good. Thank you, mate. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, tell the people where they can find you guys online and follow what you're doing. Uh, Headball, we're, uh, Headball, B-O-R-E. We're on, um, you know, look us up on Facebook, Spotify. Got clips on YouTube, all that sort of fun stuff. And I said we're recording our third album at the moment. Uh, working title is Branded. Uh, hopefully be releasing some film clips and songs from that in the not too distant future. We'll be playing a couple of brand new ones tonight. And yeah, hopefully that album comes out sort of uh, autumn next year. So yeah, check it out. And you can come on the podcast to talk all about it. Please, yeah. We'd love to, <laughs> <laughs> love to do a Thank reaction you. to the new video too yes, when you bring yeah. it out. Yeah. Awesome. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you, mate. Cool. Thank you very much for watching today's video. We really hope you had a good time with us. If you did, uh, consider hitting the uh, like and subscribe buttons down there and let, ring that bell so you get notified of all the videos we've got coming out. And we do also have a Patreon. Uh, if you're interested, you can head on over there. You can get all the videos early and ad free. So, you know, a little bit of a benefit. It's only a couple of bucks a month. Uh, but if not, thank you very much for watching anyway, and we'll catch you guys next time.